Commit, commit, commit. Everyone commit. <laughs> Good morning! I don't know if I've ever started the vlog right here, but I'm about to get ready for the day. Um, so I'm washing my beauty blenders, my little one and my regular one. I bought this a while back because it was cheap and it works pretty darn well. And I just like work it into the sponge and then all the yucky stuff comes out. I don't know what it is, but there's nothing like doing your makeup with the fresh cleaned beauty blender. I've been cleaning it a lot more lately. I don't know, maybe it helps my skin, I don't know. I don't wear makeup every day anymore though, so. And my little baby one for the nose contour. You know the drill. This one has not been washed in a minute. And the weirdest part is it's like stained blue <laughs> from, cause all I use this for is um, my nose contour really. So it's just funny how it's like, Stained it blue. I've never put anything blue on with this. <laughs> there must be blue in the contour. All right, we are clean. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready for the day because I have some errands to run and I just feel like putting on a little bit of makeup today. Nothing too extreme. I'll probably do my quick little situation. I'm using one of my little um, like one time towels so if you're also like acne prone i've been using these there's like a few brands on amazon there's clean skin club they were out so i got these armed life face towels so if you want to do like less germs i'll link these i do feel like they help when i use them regularly instead of just like a normal towel that's already been used once and then my other amazon find i've shared this a million times but if you don't want to buy like the full beauty blender because it's kind of pricey I bought like a huge pack of these on Amazon. They are even better than Beauty Blender. They're so soft and squishy and you get like a big pack for such a good price. Highly recommend these products. I need to go get a couple of groceries. Um, we're out of a lot of fruit because I've been eating fruit like crazy and stuff for dinner. I also need to do a quick little Target run and it's also a beautiful day so I definitely want to take the dog for a walk. This has been my hairstyle the last couple of days and I'm hyper fixated on it <laughs> where I put it up in the clip and then a few pieces down but this one's longer. I have to tuck this one back here. That was bothering me. Now we're even, and guess what we're picking up today? My retainer. When I tell you like my current one, it's hanging on by a thread. That crack has gotten so bad, like part of it's about to fall off. So I'm really excited to go pick that up today. Just adult things, I suppose. Also, I have recently gotten back into the house labs. I go through phases with all the foundation. This stuff is so good. It's so freaking good. I was gonna do just my color science, but um, I already have SPF on from earlier and I feel like going a little more full today, but like, I just, I don't know, just a fuller base, but then just, you know, mascara and like brow gel, nothing else extreme. All right, you guys, I'm feeling a little bit risky today. <laughs> so I've been like really into like kind of a sun-kissed, sunburned natural vibe where I'm kind of like bringing my blush a little bit more like across the center. I know that's very much like a thing people have been doing and putting a little bit like on the forehead. I don't know, I think it looks really cute and kind of fun and different, but I do think this look would be perfect with Faux freckles, oh my God. So I literally have the freck pen here. Ooh. And I use this for my um, faux beauty mark. And I kind of think it would be really cute. I haven't done this in a really long time, but when I do it with the beauty mark, I do like kind of tap it sometimes to soften it. So I do know that this has a really good, easy way to just kind of like, I don't know, I see people do a few dots and then they like take their finger 
and it spreads it around. So let's, let's ruin my makeup. I'm nervous. I just feel called to do this today and also nothing really matters. So let's just go for it. All right, I did like five. I went like nuts. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Pro tip, <laughs> go in straight. I kind of pulled a few. Okay, wait. They're not bad though. They're not too bad. But I did, I totally like, oh, of course. So yeah, I'm gonna do a few there. And now make sure you go down straight. Okay. Oh, that, that side looks way better. This side, I effed up a little bit. I... Mm. Okay, all right, Alex, let's not. Okay, now we're ruining things. Just to go over that all that. Yeah, okay, this side is not good. Can you see how like they're kind of like dragged to the side a little bit? <laughs> I like this side though. Okay, let's do the nose. I also like when I do this, I never know how much to do. Okay, wait, that's so cute. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. You have to like really like, commit to it like once you start tapping don't question don't push down and like question it you have to just tap 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 okay and then you kind of like fade them out a little bit like towards the cheek like i like when they're kind of just like mostly in the center here but i also like i don't want to get carried away because sometimes that's when it starts to look a little funky you know and it starts to look like not as real i gotta do a few more over here because like this side is so funky from that mess up one commit 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 everyone commit <laughs> No, I don't know. Like part of me just thinks these don't look good on me. Or am I just not used to it? Cause I love how they look on other people. I need to look up a picture. <laughs> Cause now I'm like, I'm questioning my placement and I'm wondering if I need to do more or just like really stop now. Faux freckle placement. <laughs> See, like, this looks so good. This is the vibe I want. Like that's, I love how that looks. Like that's, that's a lot of freckles, but it looks so cute. That's a commitment though, that's a lot. Why do I feel like I can't pull this off? I gotta keep going. <laughs> I have to keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep the photo up and just see. See what I can do. Okay, wait, this looks a little bit more in the middle. Am I past the point of this one? Like, I feel like that might be a good middle ground here. I might be, I might be past that. I do think I need to spread them out a little bit. We gotta just do like a few strays. Okay, that kind of pulled it together a little bit. All day today, I'm just gonna like try to show this side of my face. This side looks so bad, oh no. I feel like I look silly. I think I look silly. Oh God. Why do I do that? Yeah. Well, it's too late. I'm not gonna like redo my makeup for this, so. Here I am trying to make it work, trying to make it work. I have to stop. I have to stop. Should I put some on my forehead? What am I gonna do? Okay, what if we just put more blush on? <laughs> what if we just kinda... That's a lot. Now it's too much, oh my God. Can I go out like this? Backtrack, backtrack. What if I put some like colored powder? I just won't get too close to anyone. We all know I'm going to the self checkout anyway, all right? Oh, it's just, I'm making it so much worse. I do this to myself like once every six months. I choose violence. I attempt to be a faux freckle girl when I am just not that girl. I think it's like fine enough now where I don't look. I just feel like it looks like I got crap on my face. Other people look so cute with this. All right, I'm done. All right, anyway, I'm just gonna stick to using this for my beauty mark. Yar has the beauty mark where I want it and I would love for our kids to get it. He's got like a cute little beauty mark right here where I put mine every day. It's so funny. I remember way back when um, people first started doing like beauty mark tattoos, this place was doing it for free, like, cause it was a new thing and they needed like models for it. And I really wanted to do it and I chickened out and I wish I had done it. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could still do it now. Then I'm always afraid it's gonna like fade to like a greenish color or something. And it's just not that hard for me to like actually put one on every day. All right, I'm back here. I also almost forgot to tell you guys that through the 26th, Miranda Fry's doing their Mother's Day sale. So if you buy one item, it's 20% off. Two items, 25% off. Three items or more, 30% off. Yeah, it's through the 26th. So this vlog should go up before then. So I thought I'd just quickly show you guys a few of my favorites and link them for you guys. So the last couple days, I actually have been wearing this stack, the two Miranda Fry bangles. And I like doing one in gold and one in silver because I have, um, a platinum engagement ring and then I like wearing gold jewelry. So I love how much they have size inclusive options. So I have the gold bangle 
in their extra large and then the silver in just a large and I, lo I love it like the extra large definitely has like a lot of room which is nice so if you like that kind of Cartier love bangle vibe uh, that is that one so you can also see how these look on my wrist if you're similar in size so we've got the extra large and the large and that's the room we have so i love love wearing these two together i also love this cara bangle here it's got some stretch um i think i have this one in the biggest size and it's got lots of room i love like kind of a dangly bangle and because i've been wearing my cuffs i took off my signature fashion jackson little beaded bracelet which i normally never take off and then another one of my absolute favorite cuffs is this waverly cuff here it's beautiful it's curved and then it's just got this gorgeous set of stones going like that um, and then it's beaded on this side so this one looks really really cute on as well i don't know what it is i think finding good plus size friendly bracelets is hard so i figured i'd show those i've also been wearing the little moonstone zodiac charm this thing is stunning i wear this literally every day and then they have a ton of different chains and charms that you can mix and match different lengths i believe this is a 22 to 24 inch chain or maybe 21 to 22 but they have a ton of different chains so just measure and see where you want it to sit on your neck um, they are amazing quality i've had them for years and they just like don't break the bank but they are really high quality and will last and they also have a ton of really cute hoops all types of earrings so happy mother's day sale if you want to get something for mom or just for yourself so i'll link these items into their page if you want to grab something during the sale i also can't decide if i should change um i've had this on all morning this is one of my favorite like oversized amazon sweaters um or sweatshirts it's like really soft it's got ribbing i love like the oversized fit it kind of gives a little bit of a free people uh, vibe it has a ton of colors and sizes so I'll link this too I've been wearing it all morning while it was still chilly but now it's almost 60 and I do have on just leggings and my um, Birkenstocks but I don't want to be hot I hate being hot especially when I'm like grocery shopping so what do you think Mr. Blute should I change who is the most beautiful boy in the world mommy loves you mommy loves you Okay, you guys, I am back home. I showed you everything I bought at Target, but Whole Foods was so, so busy. And it's a Tuesday. Oh, I was there around noon to 12.30. I bet it was people on a lunch break, maybe. But I didn't get to vlog everything I got, so I'll do a quick little grocery haul. I'm gonna do um, lasagna tonight. I've never tried this Organic Valley Italian cheese blend, so we're gonna do that. Yar has been very into these for breakfast, and he's also into just egg right now. Oh, I don't know why, 
but I was craving a Caesar salad, so I made one at the salad bar. We had a Caesar salad when we were visiting his family, and it was just so good. <laughs> it simply hit the spot, so I'm gonna dive into that soon. Of course, I've been loving Pirate's Booty, and then I, since I've been like just craving like a Caesar salad, like a simple one, I got a head of romaine for future days. And then bananas, they only had uh, green bananas, but they will get there. It's so nice out now. It's so nice to have like the windows open and just breathe fresh air. For the lasagna, I like getting the brown rice um, lasagna noodles. These ones from Jovial are really, really good. Love these kind of Triscuity vibe crackers with some chase so i've never tried this sauce before but it was on sale and i love their pizza sauce cucina antica um this is the garlic marinara so i'm gonna do that for the lasagna i'll let you guys know if it's good and then of course we've got the fruit stock up we've got strawberries blueberries and they still had the sweetest batch of the raspberries so I'm gonna prep all that so I can snack on those for a couple of days. These are great if you wanna just have them in the freezer as like something to go with a meat and veggie or something. These Alexia roasted and ready golden potatoes. And then sometimes I'll smash them and cook them a little longer so they get crispy. They didn't have, I couldn't find the 365 ricotta. So I got this one from Calabro, Calabro. Um, I just got the um, fat-free ricotta for tonight. I got my Chobani flips at Target. And then I got Yar, his Siggy's yogurt at Whole Foods. All right, last two bags. We already know Yar and his celery breath green juice. <laughs> and then his OJ. And then the green grapes were not giving. So I hope these are good. I got these, they feel good. They look good. So hopefully they're good because it's a massive bag of red grapes. I've been out of avocado, so I got some like, these will be good for the next couple of days. I'll put them in the fridge just in case, but they feel like almost perfect. And then lastly, oranges. So that is the restock. I'm gonna put all this away and then I'm gonna eat my salad. I was eating that salad, started editing this vlog, and remembered I had to go get my retainer. I made it right in time. Okay, I got the retainers. They're in my mouth. And I really like these. This is the one I got. It's nice because it doesn't come up as high as the Smile Direct Club ones did. They don't go into like your gums. So, now I have retainers good to go got a little case here now i don't have to worry about mine that's literally severely breaking so cool we did it i'm so glad i made it like just on time and it's, it's kind of funny because i mean i've only been here twice this is like a random place i went to get the retainer every time i come it's like all like middle schoolers preteens um I have, a, I have a list with these in more so than usual but um yeah i always feel i always feel very funny i'm the only adult in there every time many hours later okay you guys i'm so sorry i did not vlog our walk but me yar and bruno just went to um like this path and he runs and we walk and we got in a couple miles so that was great it's now five o'clock so i'm gonna start the lasagna as you can see here i've got the beyond meat and i'm really curious to see how it comes out because we really like the beyond meat and like tacos or 
burgers. I prefer it over the ground turkey. I don't know, I like the texture a little bit more. I don't know, we just are trying to eat less meat. Cooking this up, you just cook it like normal beef. Waiting for my water to boil. And I'm really excited to see how the sauce is. It looks really watery, which I actually really do prefer in a sauce, oddly enough. So we'll see how it goes. Many hours later. All right, you guys, checking back in. We had dinner, and overall, the the Beyond Meat, it's like it's not gonna give you the same texture as like beef. But when there's other when when you're like serving it with other things, like in tacos or in lasagna or whatever, it's really not like a big deal. It just you just really can't tell that much. So that's the update on that. We watched another episode of Money Heist, of course. You guys are probably so sick of hearing me talk about Money Heist. We have eight more episodes until we're done. And then there's like another show that's like a spinoff of Berlin's character. So that's what we're gonna watch next. And we are doing um, one of the best summer activities, going to get a Dell's Lemonade. Um, if you are from Rhode Island, you know. I didn't know about it until I lived here. It's like this frozen lemonade and you can put, they, you can have them put in like um, a pretzel rod stick <laughs> into it. And it's just, when he first told me about it, I was just like, this is so, this is so random. And he's like, no, it's like a thing here. And now it's become one of like our favorite little summery traditions, just cause it was, it was nice out today. It felt a little summery. So we're gonna go get a little lemonade to share and that's pretty much the day. I've had a headache right here, on the back right side of my head for like two hours. Um, that's one thing I will say with the second trimester, and I'll take it. I'll take the second trimester all day over the first. No nausea, less um, exhaustion, still, ti still tired, don't get me wrong, but a lot less tired. Um, but the second trimester so far has just been a lot of easy emotions like I said like I'm easily more emotional than usual like I I'd be crying I'd be crying and headaches headaches for sure so alas that is that's the, the second trimester update if you are also pregnant let me know your current symptoms and let's go get some freaking lemonade secured the goods here she is. Did you notice my fake freckles? I did, I saw your IG post. People gassed me up on the fake freckles, but I didn't think they looked good. 